Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon Nostalgic Runner. And I did not feel upset. I did not feel like setting up my camera all the way. So it's yeah, this is gonna be not too long a video, but this is um Get Fit With Me series presents the cow abilities. So <clears throat> Um, again, this is usually not meant to be super long, but lately it has been because I've been covering the Summer Olympics thing at the same time. We know that's over with. And so real quick, let me just go over how things are going when it comes to my training, and then I'll let y'all go. Um, also too, for those who watch my other content when it comes to the Real Housewives of Orange County, um, I will be back to my normal schedule, so that will be always uploaded on either Friday or Saturday. This time it was a little late, but I mean, it still was on time, right? Right. Anyway, so um, also too, um, The Real Housewives of New York is going to be coming up soon in October, so I'm going to be recapping that. I'm actually looking forward to that. That trailer looked amazing. Let me know in the comments if you want me to recap the trailer because it looks like it's going to be good. Um, and then once the Real Housewives of Potomac come back, of course, I'm going to review that. Real Housewives of Salt Lake City should be coming up soon, too. I'll be recapping that. Um, what else? Real Housewives of Atlanta, once that comes back. And then um, Real Housewives of Miami, I've been waiting for that. And Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Okay, so we got a lot, right? Right. Anyway, um, but yeah, so yeah, I just washed my hair. So it's still drying. I'm doing like a wash and go and I actually tried some new product. Um, but anyway, that's not why we're here. So I actually just got done doing my 10 mile run today and um, I did it at a decent pace. I didn't feel like death, like I got it done. I kind of stuck with how I'm still trying to do the training when it comes to like my pace and it was good. So um, next week I have to do 24. I'm pretty nervous about it just because I haven't done anything over 20 yet. Last week I did, well not last week, on Monday I did 17 miles and that felt like, that felt like a lot um, just because I'm like so behind on my training. And for those who are not aware, I have a 50k that I'm doing um, the second week of October and my goal for it is just to get it done. Honestly, if I wouldn't have deferred it um, cause I was supposed to do this last year and then I had an injury and I couldn't do it. Um, and then this, so this is for me deferring it from last year to now. Um, but if I wouldn't have done that, I probably would have just like put it off. Um, cause my goal after I get this done, I'm going to take a year off from doing, and I think I mentioned it before, I'm going to take a year off from doing, um, the mayor, anything that's more than a marathon. Because I really want to get my speed back. Um, I really want to get my weight down. Um, I think I've been doing really well when it comes to that. Um, I've been pretty consistent on that. I did cheat yesterday and today a little bit. I had chicken for the first time in a minute. I really was craving Korean fried chicken. <laughs> so I had it. Um, I'm trying to think when the last time I even had chicken. Probably sometime last year. I don't know. I don't eat. I don't eat like meat regularly, like at all. Um, well, I do. I would say it's a once a month thing. We'll just say that. I usually eat meat once a month. Um, so that probably was it. And then I probably won't eat any meat again until like September, October, just depending. But anyway. Um, but yeah, my training went well this week. Um, I got all my runs in, so I was proud of that. I have been consistent lately when it comes to the gym. I've been going to the gym once a week. Um, I'm trying to get back up to twice a week, but realistically, I've been trying to be very mindful and not get into my old habits of overtraining. Considering the fact that I'm literally coming back from an injury, I do not want to over push myself. Like I'm pushing myself as far as making sure I get my mileage in and getting my fitness and workouts in, but I don't want to overdo it and overtrain because I have a horrible, horrible mean streak of doing that. That 
I would say the first maybe five years of me running, becoming a runner, I was a habitual overtrainer. So I need to get my body used to not wanting that from me, um, <clears throat> which was most of my time running. Um, so I'm trying to get back to where like, okay, this is, this is sensible. You got your long run in, you did 10 miles. You don't need to go to the gym now too. And old me would have went to the gym afterwards too. I would have even probably walked there and walked home. So I probably would have gotten a total of 15 miles in. <laughs> or I would have rode my bike there. But either way, it would have happened. And today I was like, no, you're done. <laughs> you're done. Um, you feel good. You got done. You took a shower and everything else. Time to relax for the rest of the day. And then on Monday, get back to it. And then so forth, so on. Because that's the other thing. When you're someone who overtrains, and this is just me just kind of giving the PSA, because I'm sure if you're someone who is like me, you might be someone who's very, very prone to overtraining. It's also a very easy way to burn out and lose motivation from running and, you know, all the things. So, and also to... I, in general, have a horrible tendency of taking on too much stuff. <laughs> like, that is like my MO. That is a thing of mine. So, I'm like, ah, we're not going to do that. We did what we did. That's that on that. So, yeah, I guess all I got to say is I've had two successful long runs. One on Monday. because I took, I took, actually took the day off to get that done. And I was debating whether I was going to do 20 or 17. I, well, I was being whether I was going to do 16 or 20, and I kind of compromised and did 17. Um, and um, I was happy with that. And then Tuesday, I just walked three miles. Like, I kind of made it do what it do. And then the day before that, I ran, I ran 10. So it was like, I kind of was back to back to backing it anyway. And um, yeah, so, and then today I did my 10. So I'm happy with that. I did not get to go to the gym or anything yesterday, but I did get some rest. And I did make sure I got some things done around the house. So that's all kind of important and all well and good. And <clears throat> yeah, so that's how things are going right now. Um, hopefully, though, things will be okay. Because I do have a race coming up in... Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's making me nervous because it's like literally almost a month from now I have a race. A little less than a month from now I have a race. I have a half marathon. Um, and I think that will be a true gauge of how I really will feel come, come for this 50K. Um, if the half marathon feels like a struggle, I will eventually, I will unfortunately probably need to contact the race director for my 50K and drop down to half marathon distance. But I don't see that being an issue. I think I should be okay. My ankle's been holding up pretty well. And yeah, I do still have the scripts to do the PT, but at this point, I don't really see the point in doing that right now because it's not getting worse. And <clears throat> now that I know after getting the MRI that things are not damaged, um, I think I'm going to hold off until after the race and se racing season's over with and then maybe try to do PT there. Um, but I'm kind of deba I'm debating on that too because it really depends on if I do a half marathon in January or not. Because um, I'm thinking about doing a half marathon in January in Texas, but we'll see. Anyway, <clears throat> that does conclude the video. I told you this was not going to be that long. I was going to try to make this like 10 minutes or less. Anyway, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, a.k.a. the Melon Nostalgic Runner. And I will see you next time. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Ciao. See, this is why I don't eat meat regularly. Anyway, bye.